Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Topics on Topic. Uh, today's a special show. We have a special guest here today, and uh, uh, my co host, uh, Amaya Milan. Uh, tell us who we have here today. We have with me, us a good friend of mine, Andrew Chavera. Should I say that correctly? Chavera. Yeah, yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> Chavaria, that's close. Chavaria, Chavaria. <laughs> I was trying to say that name before we even started, but you know, you <laughs> corrected me. I'm glad that I got it right. You know, it's all right. It's all right. It happens. Yeah. So for everyone, um, it's actually crazy because we met on a show that I was doing, a radio show I was doing, and he was DJing. But he also, um, aside from DJing, you know, he works in the hospital, and um, we kind of wanted to get a take on everything that's been going on, you know, and uh, how you've been seeing and you've been witnessing people, you know, coming through sick and whatnot. And what's your experience been with it, basically? Man, it's good to see you again, Codigo, and I appreciate y'all having me on here. Um, you know, it's been like, it's been weird. I mean, of course, for everybody, but my experience being I work at a specialty clinic. It's for like wound care and we have a general surgeon. So it's only two doctors in there. But each patient that comes in, I work the front desk as a receptionist, but I still got to go, you know, check their temperature and come in direct contact pretty much with somebody. I mean, they got to have their face masks on. If not, we have to give them one. Um, but it's kind of, you know, at first I was like, I don't know, like, I don't know if I want to risk my life doing all this, like, this stuff is getting crazy, but, uh, I mean, I do it, because, I mean, it's been this, I mean, I ain't got none, like, I, I haven't really been doing as much music-wise because of the pandemic going on, so, I mean, the day job thing is, like, been real, like, that's all I've been doing lately, but, uh, it's affected me. I, I'm not going to lie. I had caught COVID not too long ago. But from the process of it starting, I didn't really take it that serious. And I was like, no, nah, I'm young. I'll be all right. You know, um, thinking it wouldn't, I mean, affect me or anything. But yeah, it's it, it affected me. But so what, 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 was people, it, what, was it, what was it like day one? And, and how did you find out about uh, you you uh, you contracted the, the virus. How did you find up, find out about that? Okay, what was the first question? Um, see, from day one, what was it like? You know, contracting uh, the coronavirus. Oh, when, and, and, okay. And, yeah, and how did you okay. get? The, how did you find out? Okay, you yeah. So, right, right, right. So, well, the first time I got tested was in October. I had actually went to Cali. I went out there for Halloween and I was doing a little thing out there, a little event. Well, I came back and they're like, well, our coworker on Monday, she tested positive right when I had got back. And they were like, um, we all got to get tested. So I was like, all right. So we did the rapid test. Right. Um, it tells you within like an hour, like once you get tested 30 minutes to an hour, you'll know your results. Right. I was negative. You know, that whole week I'm good. Um, it comes that weekend on a Saturday and I start losing my smell oh. and I'm chilling, you know, I'm hanging out with the female and we're kicking back and I'm like, I can't smell like this. Right. I don't know. I think something's going on with me and I kind of feel a little weird, but you know, we went and out, we went out and ate some food, you know, and I ordered a plate of food, like some salmon, a good little stir fry looking little plate, you know, I'm happy, <laughs> ready to eat. And right. I still can't smell. I mean, it's hot. I can taste it and everything. But I'm like, I don't think I, I didn't say it out loud because there were some other people around, but I was like, fuck, I still can't smell. Like, right. I was like, I think I got this. Like, because I've dealt with previous, mm -hmm. you know, in the health industry, you know, right. uh, healthcare, knowing right. people's symptoms. And I've heard right. all this stuff, you know. So I'm just like, man, man, man. So I'm trying not to trip. I'm just right. like, all right, I'm going to go home. I'm going to kick back, wake up in the morning. Maybe I'll go away. Right. Woke up in the morning, made my coffee, you know, getting a little fresh hot pot. And I'm like sniffing the bag. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I can't smell anything. I said, man, I said, you know what? Let me make an omelet, start cutting up an onion, 
can't smell the onion, put it to my face. I'm like, no. Well, that, that is weird. I mean, if you cut in onions and you can't smell onions, I mean, that is serious. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, there's definitely something going on. And I, I didn't feel bad, though. Like, I was feeling okay that morning. And so I just let my boss know. And she's like, okay, you know, protocols. If you have any symptoms, don't come in. Uh, mm -hmm. Get back with me tomorrow. And if we need to, we'll get you tested. I said, okay, you know, woke up Monday, still can't smell, feel all right. And I just tell her, uh, I mean, I still can't smell, but I feel okay. Like, I feel a little off, but I, I don't feel too bad, but I feel like something's different. Mm -hmm. So she's like, well, we'll get you tested. And I got tested that day in the afternoon, which was the nose swab. Now that thing, oh my God, I, have y'all got one? Yes. I did, yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. I didn't Never like again. Never again. God. <laughs> Man, it may, if they didn't make your eye water, I don't know what will, but gosh, that thing stuck it up there. I was like, ow, oh, I was, what the, f you know, I'm mad. But I'm like, if you got it, you got it because you went all the way up in my, and right. they go, we got to swipe the other side also. I'm like, why? You already got one side. Well, we got to do the uh, influenza and we got to test for the COVID. I said, mm -hmm. oh man. So they did the other one and, you know, I'm like, all right, well. Whatever it is, you did it. I hope you got it. If I do have it, when will I know? And they're like, well, two to three days, depending. So I have to quarantine and wait. And mm. that's that Monday afternoon, I started feeling weird. I'm talking like body aches, muscle aches, mm. you know, like not feeling. I was feeling real weird. And I would get headaches and just it was I don't know. It's something different. I can't explain. It's kind of like the flu, I would say, but I thought it was a little worse. I, I mean, it might be a mental thing, too, on top of it, just knowing everything going on. Mm -hmm. But that Monday, Tuesday, I waited. And my boss called me Wednesday and said, how are you feeling? I said, I feel uh, I'm kind of feeling bad this morning. Like, you know, I can't shake this off. And it's been a few days. Well, you, te you tested positive. So, you know, you can't come back to work. You got to quarantine. Uh, 10 days at least and up to 14 days you have to stay away from the work and stay away from people you know and um, they gave me a z-pack and that was it really so if you got any, any how did you break the news to the family because i know you're getting man, to your family about that well i broke it straight up my mom heard me on the phone and she's she nosy she heard me on the phone she was getting ready for work you know and She's like, you got it? And I'm like, mom, yes, I tested positive. She's like, oh, my gosh. She started freaking out. And I'm like, I'm just going to wear my mask. I'll stay, like, away from everyone, you know. And she's like, well, she goes and tells my brother. It's his birthday. Wakes him up, tells him, your brother got COVID. He's mad as hell. Why are you going to wake me up? You could at least tell me happy birthday instead of telling me all this and that. He's not worried about it, but my mom, she, she's an elder. She about mm, about 57, 56, mm -hmm. or right there. So, and she has health issues too. So, I knew where she was coming from. But man, I was scared myself to get her sick or get them right. sick, yeah. you know. And mm -hmm. anyone that thinks it's a game, like bro, or it's a hoax or whatever, nah, man. Some people affect get affect, uh, affected different, but I my experience. That had me on my ass. I was weak. Like, I felt weak. Yeah, but it did, wear, it did wear off a few days later. Like, I would give it, like, five days, maybe. I got my smell back. So my breathing is, like, it's be a lot better now because it's been over, like, a month and a half. But, I mean, I go to the gym a lot. So, I didn't go to the gym at all. I tried to run and work out at the house. I couldn't even do that maybe 20 minutes. And I was like, what am I doing to myself? I need to rest, like pause, stop. Just That's stop crazy. That so you're, you're breathing, your breathing kind of yeah. changed on you, huh? Yeah. The breathing was another thing uh, that honestly, that still kind of like, I got my breathing down now, but it's still not like, not 100%. I was hundred percent. Yeah. Like maybe 90, it's up to, I could be doing like a few sets or something, and I'm like, you trying to catch my breath. Jiggly, you know, yeah, 
Yeah. What What do you think about the vaccine? Are you going to take the vaccine? Well, we were offered. I mean, my coworkers already got the vaccine. My doctor got the vaccine. I was actually helping out the other day, giving out the vaccine. Well, I didn't give out the vaccine. I was setting people up because across the street is a walk-in center. Mm -hmm. So all the elders over 65, they were trying to distribute to the community. So they were like, hey, we need your help, Andrew. Can you come help us out on this side? Because I used Mm -hmm. to work there previously. And I was like, man, I ain't trying to go back over there. That's chaos and mayhem. But of course I did, being a team player. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a lot of the people on there were asking me um what do you think of this vaccine you know i'm not gonna tell you i'm gonna be straight up i don't know i mean in my opinion i don't i'm gonna wait and see how it how it goes with these other ones yeah how folks uh how folks are feeling about it. I mean, what's uh, the symptoms and uh, if there's any uh, issues and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are right. scared of uh, taking the vaccine, but uh, I think that, I think we should all take the vaccine because I think that's how we're going to get back to normal. And, right. uh, you know, as far as for me, I, I, I hate, you know, you know, putting on the mask, you know, right. I hate to, you know, you know, be around people and be cautious and be scared of, you know, maybe, you know, contracting the virus. And I think that the va- the vaccine is the answer. And, and if you have the opportunity to, to take the vaccine, I think you should. Uh, because right. really it's the next step, you know, for things to get back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. And especially for someone like you who, you know, is in that environment, you know, you have people right. coming in and all that. And right. Yes. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, it's uh, and it's uh, that- yeah. That's another thing. It's Lewis, right? Yeah, Lewis. Um, so with my uh, case of being positive for COVID, mm-hmm. you have to wait, I believe it was three months before you can actually get the vaccination because really? you already have the antibodies in you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, I, yeah. I can't get it regardless if I wanted to. And really? I think it was 60 mm. days or I think it's 60 days. I might be wrong. 60 or 90 days. I know it's I didn't get it though. I couldn't get it regardless. So, but a few of my coworkers didn't want to do it. And the doctor and another one, they did. But mm-hmm. uh the rest were like, mm, they were just chilling out on it. But I mean, they give you a paper that states, you know, um, if you have any reactions or any kind of anything goes on that. The, you can't sue the company you're not liable they're not liable for any of it so they make you like read through that and all that before you take the vaccination right and sign off and all that stuff so uh, i mean i don't know i mean i don't think they would give us something that's gonna put you out <laughs> but no no exactly yeah yeah, yeah. I, well I, you know i i I, st- I still i still understand why you know, you know, a few folks, uh, uh, you know, being a little bit hesitant to uh, to take the vaccine. I can understand that. I can understand. Right, that. right, right. Yeah, but do you all? I mean, um, my bad. Keep going. No, no. I was, I was gonna, gonna say, say I mean, do you all? Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on like the social social media possibly being tampered with, with uh, somewhat trying to make people think that the vaccine might, you know, give you things like. Bell Palsy, uh, do you think that stuff is real? What are you guys' thoughts on well, some of the would, stuff that's being released in the media? Um, actually, I was kicking back with my doctor over there, and I said, I told him about that. You know, what's that side effect where it paralyzes your that, mouth? That's, that's Bell Palsy, uh, yeah, where yeah. half of your face is paralyzed. So, yeah, so I told him about that, and he goes, really? Let me look that up real quick. So we look it up, and... Uh, we found a fact that it was four out of 20,000 that had got that, but mm. it, it could possibly happen, but four out of 20,000, it happened to when they were doing it across overseas. So it's rare. So, yeah, so it's rare, but I mean, after you get the vaccination from what I seen when I was helping out that day, they would make them sit there for a time, uh, period of time like i think it was 20 minutes some were different because some people have like you know reactions before previous so they make them stay a little longer 30 45 minutes mm-hmm. and then they time's up they're free to go as long as they don't have any 
you know, reactions. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah interesting. I mean, yeah, you you uh, you really do have information, you know, when it comes to uh, you know, you know, what you've seen and and as far yeah. as what you've seen, what kind of numbers are you seeing as folks coming into the clinic? Do you see a lot of people like you know, having difficulty with uh, breathing and all that kind of stuff? Or, uh, what kind of, uh, you know, symptoms are you right. witnessing in these folks that are coming in? I mean, can right. you, can you right. shed some light on that? Yeah, no, I, honestly, I tripped out the first time I knew somebody went in there and they had tested. They didn't say nothing about it. They, cause we asked them the questions, you know, first question is, have you been tested for Corona? or for COVID and yes or no. And if it's yes, okay, the date and where. Yeah. Positive, negative, recovered, okay? Have you been in direct contact with anyone in the last 14 days? And they answer yes or no. And you know, of course, if they say yes, you ask who and where, and then uh, you ask them if they have any symptoms, you know, any symptoms. They don't have any symptoms, they're good to go. They can do their doctor visit and all that. Come in, check your temperature, boom. Well. There was one that had went in and didn't have, she was good, you know, on her paperwork. And she said, you know, none of that. Well, next day she called and said she had got tested and she was positive. And we're like, so why didn't you tell us you got tested or you should have been quarantined? Well, I had to go see the doctor because of my wound. Well, now that puts us in jeopardy because we're oh, exposed no. to shit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and that's how it works. <laughs> and it, it just, that's that's the thing about being in the healthcare right now. It's just, you deal with that, man. And it's like, really keep your face mask. I always keep my face mask on unless it's just like me and the coworker. And we're, we're already like six feet apart, you know, got our own desk and stuff. But I mean, it's just, you just don't know. And I mean, I, I even, when I went back, I kind of felt weird. Like I was the outcast, like, Y'all ain't scared of me, are y'all? Like, you know, I'm I'm good, but right. that's how it feels, man. Like, mm -hmm. it you feel like the eye. It's like that one kid. You know, you're at the park and everyone's playing, but you're the one that they're like, nah, we don't want him on the team or her on the team. It's kind of like, why? Like, what can I play with y'all? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> it sounds like that. Um, that's how. Right. It, that's, we that, that's how I that's how I felt. Like it, it's different, man. Like people be like, oh what you got yeah. COVID? Like, what? Oh shit. Like, don't get away from him. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It's a scary it's, thing. I mean, it's a scary thing. Listen, I feel them though, because it looks you know, it's some really intense symptoms, you know, that yeah. people are getting from it. And of course, you know, they don't mean it with no any type of harm, you know. I think right, right, right. But uh right. yeah, I mean times are really crazy i mean lena's honestly into our hot topics you know we have a little pump who got kicked off of jet blue because of the fact that he didn't want to wear okay. his mask Who's you know yeah. little pump oh yeah i heard about that yes little pump he's a rapper he's this rapper this hispanic rapper from uh is he from texas or miami he's, he's from, from florida florida he's yeah. from florida actually okay yeah. And it was either Texas or Florida, you know, somewhere down south, basically, but um, Florida. Um, he w refused to wear a mask on JetBlue. He says that the virus is a hoax, it's fake. Yeah. He said he's that. not wearing a mask all 2021, and I guess he sneezed on the plane on under uh, under his blanket, and a lot of people complained about it, and now he is banned from taking JetBlue. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. And he tried to disrespect them, you know. He he was on his Instagram saying F Jeff F Jet Blue and whatnot. But hey, yeah. you know, it's just like take those precautions for people, you know, take precautions right. for your neighbors. Did you see you uh, the one about in Hawaii? Or they had flew from I think it was San Francisco to Hawaii and lied about their COVID uh testing. They had both tested positive and worked their they were with their four year old. Uh, kid and they got to Hawaii and they found out about it and so they had they arrested him they gave him some charge a criminal charge I don't remember what it was but this was a few weeks ago and I thought it was crazy because 
they didn't mention it, you know, you're putting people at risk getting on that plane from San Francisco to Hawaii, and then they get off and they get arrested because they found out they were lying. I don't know how it all worked, but yeah. You're saying that they found out. You don't know how they basically found out. I don't know how the airlines found out or what. Yeah. I didn't read the whole. I just read like the little paragraph in the headline. And I was like, damn, they arrested him. Yeah, you know, we, we got to be safe out here, you know. But, you know, P. Diddy, honestly, uh, we were just he was just getting props today um, and whatnot right. because yeah. he was in Atlanta, you know, giving back to communities, especially low income communities that probably need medical equipment and whatnot to survive these type of times. His uh, people, his foundation donated more than like three point five million dollars uh, wow. to help people. That's so. Good. That's so good. We yeah, need more of that. Uh, yeah, that's good. That. I, mean, I think uh, a lot of these celebrities should follow suit and do the same thing because, you know, the reason why they have the fame and the money is because of the fans, and the fans are the ones that are suffering right now. So, yeah, yeah so what he's doing is, is great, and I think that a lot of these folks need to follow suit to do the same thing because I got to tell you, a lot of people are struggling out there. That's yeah. very. Uh, it's it's very been really tough for a lot of people, man. I go out there and I see these things, and and I think no, that no, we, we need to we need to talk about it even more, and we I need mean, to encourage people that have the opportunity to do something, to right? Do it. Have the opportunity right. to help and help, right? Because right. yeah, there are there are people out there that do need help. This because is, this is the time. Show. This is the time. I mean, right. The ones that are more wealthier. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it wouldn't hurt to, like she was saying, you know, yeah. donate whatever they can and medical, you right. know, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of them are filling up that they're trying to put them in different places, hotels and trying to open up different areas and do different things. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 So tell I me, uh, 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 Andrew, uh, uh, no, you, uh, uh, hot topics. What else you got going on? Uh, Amaya, I, I apologize about that. I was going to. You sure you didn't question. want to ask Andrew something? Yeah, I was going to pose a question, but that's okay. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Um, you know, my last hot topic um, was basically just about the fact that I think it's kind of interesting, too, how they haven't really been talking about uh, the white male who was identified for bombing, uh, doing that oh, bombing on Christmas Day. Right. Um, yeah, supposedly he was scared of, like, 5G happening. He, I don't know what 5G has to do with bombing something on christmas day that's what happened um, in, um, in nashville yes yeah happened in nashville what, what, yes about the 5g 5g what you know basically they're trying to i guess you know people were talking about a new world order 5g and stuff oh. like that um uh also yeah i don't i don't i it's something with the phones as well so i don't know too much about the 5g thing i definitely right, want to know right. more about it um, yeah. It's definitely something that I think that we all need to look into if that is where yeah, I'm gonna stay we're going to stay with the 4G, next. right? <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. We, we, yeah, we 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 need to figure out what's going on with that. But you know, it's still crazy to hear that someone would be willing to you know risk lives and do a bombing over something that has nothing that is above their education, basically. You know, right. so. Uh, right. Right. Uh, it's, so, it's so in other words, you're saying that the five G is giving people certain, you know, I don't know, after math from using the phone uh, and uh, driving them in directions that they're not, you know, going to go if they were not using five G. It's the most strange thing that I could ever think of. Uh, yeah. to say that that's actually what happened. Right. And I don't right. think that's what it is. Yeah. And even exactly. just the bombing in general, man, that's messed up. Like, Honestly, who knows? Maybe they're trying to cover up for him, you know? And I think it's crazy yeah. they're not really talking about it. I know there's, of course, the virus is like the virus is the number one story just everywhere, you know, of course, because that's course. the biggest and most tragic thing that's happening right now. Right. But, right. um, Honestly, though, you guys, I have to say that I'm happy that 2020 is over. You know, it's about to be New Year's Eve tomorrow. Right. Um, right. 2021, here we come. 
<laughs> Hopefully, it won't be as bad as 2020 was. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I chuckle because all you can do is just, you know, try to keep it pushing. You know, it's, it's, right, it's something right. that you just got to roll off your shoulders. You know, it's a blessing to have made it through 2020. You know, yeah, truly, it, it's, it, it is a it is a blessing for us folks that actually can see that. That's very uh, true. We've lost a lot of lives. Uh, yep. Over three hundred and some odd thousand people that have lost their life to uh, COVID nineteen, and it's it still goes on every day. We have an average of about twelve hundred folks that are dying from this disease, and. Mm -hmm. uh, this, what I'm saying is that we should act right. We should act better and we should behave right. And we should understand that even though uh, you're not suffering from the disease or having a, a, a really bad uh, 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 symptom from, from the disease, that doesn't mean that you can't carry the disease and pass it on to someone else. So we have to behave right and we have to do what is necessary to do to protect each other. And, and, and this is, you know, the, the, the mask and all that stuff and, 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 and don't go out, you know, unnecessarily, you know? You know, I, I know that, you know, my co-host was just talking about uh, the fact that tomorrow is uh, a New Year's Eve. And, and I know that there are folks out there having that secret parties going on. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that, but I think I got an yeah. invite, but I'm not going to talk about that. But, but you see, but, but that's how it is, you know, so let's behave right, you know, let's right. respect yes. each other and, and knowing that, you know, this is serious. I mean, it's a real deal. So, you know, we, yeah. we have the and vaccine, I'm but still we have to behave the right way to combat this Nasty, nasty disease. Yeah, I think it's gonna take a. It's definitely gonna take some more time, but oh yeah, if it keeps moving, I mean, I don't know. It seems like the South, they're like open down there, you know, yes, like, and they're open, I, but it's only because there's goofy governors, and that's what I'm saying. It's just so crazy how it is. I I see a lot of you know, follow some people, and I'm like, damn, it's like, like it's. Regular. Okay, over there. <laughs> it's yeah. regular. It's back to normal. Yeah, it is yeah. back to over normal. Here, I, over here in New Mexico, we're still, it's se like semi open, I would say. We still got to eat outside, you know, no dining. Mm -hmm. yeah, like they set up stuff outside. There are some people that are trying to, you know, keep their businesses alive and they're like getting shut down by the governor for still having people come over there and no, 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 you know, which uh, I can see it goes hand in hand, but. I mean, at the end of the day, the safety of the people is like got to be, got to be regulated. It has but, to be. It has to be. But hey, too bad for us here in uh, California. Yeah, that's everything what I, is yeah. shut down, especially in Los Angeles. Man, no outside dining, nothing like that. So wow. all shut down. Yeah, that's that's wow. sad. Sad story everywhere. <laughs> right, yeah. but uh, yeah. Um, I want to say to all my uh, folks that are listening to the show that uh, we will be back uh, after the, the New Year's. Uh, uh, I want to wish everybody a, a happy New Year and to think positive. And uh, it's going to be different 2021. And uh, also, what would you like to say, uh, uh, Amaya? I just want to say, I know you guys missed us on Sunday, but you know, like Lewis just said, it's been the holidays, so you won't see us on New Year's Eve either, you know, but um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for my friend for coming through, Andrew. It was Andrew, a pleasure we having you. That. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no, definitely. No, and thank y'all for uh, Hey, if you have something you want to plug or something you want to say, you can say it, Andrew. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, happy holidays to everybody out there. Y'all be safe for the new year, bringing it in. And uh, just take care of your family. Love yours. And, you know, don't take nothing for granted because it could be gone yeah. like that. Exactly. And I'm thankful I'm here, man. I'm thankful I made it through, recovered through the COVID thing exactly. situation. Woo! Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is a blessing. That is a blessing for you to sit here and talk about it. It's a blessing. That is yeah. a blessing. 
You know, yeah, that is so, a blessing. So I'm thankful, yeah. yeah, for a lot, man. For real. Like my yeah, health. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's leave this on a positive note. We'd love to have you again. I mean, you are just you you're a cool cat. So it's uh hey, man. I'd love to have you again. I, I would love to be back, man. All so, right, man. Thank I you. I appreciate so much y'all for having here. me. Thank you right, so much. Thank you. Of All course. Right. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. All right. All right, bye-bye.